Oh, boy, I'm kind of beat. I think we can just stop here for a little bit. And we can open up that picnic I picked up and like, set up. <laughs> so, how you been? It's been a while since we talked. You know, at that uh, little table you were sitting at all by yourself. How you been doing? You been training well? Have you been eating right? <laughs> well, I mean, you can always call me. I'm great at cooking. I mean, look at the picnic. I cooked everything myself here. Yep, all by myself. Well, I mean, with a little help of the students. <laughs> I, I didn't cook everything. Mm hmm. Now don't be shy and dig up. There's plenty of food around here. Hmm? Oh. <laughs> of course you can talk to me. I'm not just your teacher, and I'm not also a pro hero. I'm also your friend. So what's up, Buttercup? Hmm? Hmm? What do you mean? Don't want to be a hero? You want to be a villain? Oh. You don't want to be a hero. You don't want to be a villain either. Like, what? Well, I, I'm confused. What are you talking about, Buttercup? Oh, okay. I think what the word you're looking for is, um, you want to be a vigilante. Now, are you really positive you want to go down that path? I mean, I'm not forcing you to be a hero or anything, but, like, that could be really dangerous. And you could run into me, a, a pro hero. I could technically put you in jail if you go down this road. It's just a thought. Yeah, I know. I understand that, but, like, just thinking about it, knowing someone that I would put in prison, especially like a student like you, I don't know how I would act, to be honest. Hmm. Well, I mean, it is your own decision, Buttercup. Uh, I'm not going to stop you from... Doing what you want to. It's your life. You can choose what you want to be. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean... With me, I mean, I always wanted to be a pro hero. Yes, I was... Made fun of for my... Size. <laughs> Don't worry, I crack jokes all the time about it. I mean, with my quirk and all, I mean, I can slim down at any time, but I need to put the power somewhere. So I usually store up fat, and then I use it for my own strength. Hence why my name is Fat Gum. <laughs> and also a part of the being a little bit on the chunkier side, <laughs> I do like to eat. I mean, you should see me and Hawks. <laughs> when we go to a buffet, I swear to God, we always clearing out that place. <laughs> but hey, listen here, Buttercup. You don't have to be a hero. Hell, you don't even have to be a villain. Just make sure you're... Make sure you're safe. I because I don't want anything to happen to you. Hell, I don't want anything to happen to any of y'all. I don't know what I would do if one of the students at the UA Academy get hurt. 
especially under my supervision. Well, I mean, you and I are on this mission right now. I mean, there is a villain out there we gotta look out for, but, like, I still need to take care of you. Because, as of right now, you are part of my lookout team. And I need to look out for everybody. Even though you are part of my team, I still consider you a student. You're still young. I need to look out for the young. I also need to look out for the old. Hell, I need to look out for everybody. <laughs> but you, Buttercup, since you told me this information, I need to... I can keep a little bit of an extra eye on you. Like I said, you don't gotta be a hero. You could do acts of heroism, but you don't have to be a professional hero. Like, you can use your quirk for your fantastic quirk, man. I had that. You can use it for your own good. And just be a random citizen that does good deeds. You can be a public hero. Not a professional. Like, people know who you are, but you're not in the, like, the pro heroes league. You understand what I'm saying, Buttercup? All right. I'm just making sure. <laughs> anyway, besides that conversation, let's skip on forward to a new one. How's you? How's uh, UA been treating you? Oh, well, that's good. Have you talked to uh, Kirishima Tamaki lately? <laughs> oh yeah, they've been talking about you a lot, Buttercup. Yeah, it's like you being a third year and a transfer at that. They just are excited to see new people, even though Tamaki is a little bit more on the shy side. He seems to be more chill around you. and Like you calm his nerves or something. Mm -hmm. He needs to work more on his... Uh, oh, what are, what, are, what are the words I'm looking for right now? Uh, hell, I can't remember. But you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. And Kirishima... Every time I bring up your name, he just goes off about them. Like, oh, are they? Do they talk about me and yada yada yada? He just won't shut up. <laughs> Hell, I don't even bother with him. He's just excited that he has a new friend. I'm glad you're making friends at the school as well. I mean, it's better than sitting alone at that lunch table I found you at. <laughs> you still look a little bit worried. What's on your mind? Oh, uh, okay. I see what you're thinking. You still think people don't like you? Well, I could tell you something right now, Buttercup. Even some of the pro heroes are taking a liking to you. Even me. Of course, I see you as more of a friend than anything. Shoot, Buttercup. <laughs> I can see you as a best friend at that. I mean, you love my cooking. And you always have a nice conversation with me. You know I am like a teacher to you. Nonetheless, it's good to have friends when you are yeah, at a young age. You get to talk to people more. Learn about new cultures at that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I travel around as a pro hero. Hell, even as a sidekick, I travel around. One of my favorite places was going to America. Yeah, I went to Texas. And oh boy, their food proportions are one of the biggest things I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I mean, really, they're huge proportions. 
there was this one time, uh, who was it? I think it was me, All Might, and Azawa. We went to this uh, restaurant, right? I ordered a T-bone steak. And by God, they didn't cut a whole cow in half and just slapped it on a plate. Well, of course I finished it. Who you think I am? I'm fat gum. You think this belly won't hold anything? <laughs> I finished that whole plate by myself. Mm-hmm. I love me some good for cooking. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I just looked up at the sky, and the sun's already halfway across the sky. We should probably get uh, our stuff packed up again and probably hit the road. Still looking out for that villain. I know, I know, it's still just a small robbery, but like, out here in the open, anything could really happen. Especially in those woods over there that we have to go uh, walk past. There could be a sneak attack at any time. But don't worry. Old fat gun got you. Alright. Come on, Buttercup. Get on at him. We got some hero work to do. Eh. Let's talk more about that uh, vigilante thing when we get back. I'll call you into my office so we can talk more about it. Alright? <laughs> Alright. Let's get going.